Action. Twenty twenty one began with high hopes. We all thought this would be the year that uh, we'll go back to the CU as we knew it or the work as we knew it. Uh, you know, physical meeting, meeting with students, meeting with fellow staff. Then uh, around uh, June, um, we were closed down. Uh, just the Western region, particularly the CUs in Western region, all of them fell under the what they call the red zone. Students had to go back home. There was to be online learning and all that. We've attempted a hybrid where students from CUs next to each other they would meet uh, physically together and then we'd all interconnect through Zoom. So it will be not individuals using Zoom, but you know, groups of CUs using Zoom and coming uh, together. Brother Simon Kakande, and we are all clapping wherever you are. To, to give you the implementation of the strategic plan, you come at a time when we just have a fresh one with a new uh, core value innovation and creativity. I pray that the Lord is going to help you to implement this one and even more of this strategic plan. <laughs> the Lord bless you. It's good to have you back. Let's appreciate the provost as he plays that Christie song. This is wonderful. May God's presence be with us as we embark in this transformative. Uh, one of the highlights for 2021 is seeing students embrace um, uh, digital ministry. But again, students having um, come back to campus so that we have started having physical meetings. It has been very interesting to have uh, connecting uh, meetings to connect with the staff at the region, but also even to connect with the staff nationally. You should have seen the joy and the excitement when staff met all of them. Uh, about 80, 80 staff meeting, all of them interacting with the same staff who they had not met physically. And there was quite a sense of renewal, uh, quite a sense of rejuvenation uh, and excitement. Jesus is saying, your life must be a life of influence. Your life must be influential. Your life must touch the people around you. What will it take for you to be a witness? It will take a personal experience with God. It will take maintaining a vibrant relationship with God. It may take hearing the call of God and hearing him whisper in your heart. It may take cultivating a vision for mission that God does actually want to use you regardless of your weaknesses, of your failures, of your inadequacies, of feelings of being unqualified. He is the one who would want to qualify you. We bless you with joy and laughter we wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year merry christmas merry christmas merry christmas merry christmas merry christmas, merry christmas. Merry christmas. and a prosperous 2022